Right, the hooker mirrors is a camera stand, it's a B170 size 12. There we are. Now, this is a medium wire hook, so basically, what it, what it does, it will keep it a wee bit high on the water, and uh, you can be fished both in the river and logs. This fly thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread, this is AO in orange. We start with thread at the eye and put down a layer of thread. Just work our way along. Now the tail is uh, just white cork fibres. Now stop your thread in line with the barb of the hook and then remove the waste piece. Now the hackle I'm using here, this is a side hackle so it's quite, it's got a hainy part in the middle so it's quite thick, the fibres. And when I'm putting a tail on I like these. Just get the ends to line up and then tear them away from the, the feather. Length, either length of the body, length of the hook, it's up to yourself. Just catch it on this side. And I usually angle the at these ends here towards myself. So when I bring the turn of thread up, I just lift it on, on the top. And they usually sit no too bad, and that's fine. And trim that away. Now, there's two ribs in this fly. I'm going to use a fine copper rib, or you could use a copper, a silver, or even a gold, because this fly works no matter what rib you put on it. Second rib on the fly is a, this one here is a pearl, Unimyler pearl number 14, which is basically the equivalent to a medium, medium tinsel. Length. Now you need about a mill and a half at the top for your hackles. Now what I'm going to do here is just quickly come up, pinching the thread so it's catching in the the waist ends of the tail and the, the ribs. Just making sure they're well tied in and then come back down. Body is a natural fur, this one here. And it's a fox squirrel you're looking for. That one. Or you just use hairs of your dubbing if you've got it, which is really good. Just lightly dub your tail into your thread, just slide it up. Now don't worry if you see the orange coming through, this is basically what you want. You want some colour coming through the actual the dubbing. Now, to get so you can see the rib better, your best to bring pedal anyway, to bring it the opposite way you wind everything on, like especially your thread. Now this is the weakest fibre so you need to protect it. So all I do is bring it like say four turns towards myself. I can then to tie it off I come across the thread uh, the, the pedal and then do a turn onto the hook. Again across the pedal and a turn onto the hook. And that should lock it in. And trim away the rib. Now, the body hackle, I'm just using this is a, it's a natural red, you could use a ginger uh, hackle, it's a cock hackle, it's a saddle. Um, a great, you're looking probably for a grade 2 Mets or a white and Hebert Minor, which are very good. You just have to go through the packet just to see the sort of length that you like. Just bear some of the fibre and then tie it in. Now you want to wind the hackle down so that the natural the fibres are going towards the back. I just like a turn or so at the top and then follow the pearl rib down all the way down to you reach your rib, cross your rib nice and tight, come up normal way wind through your rib because what this will do is protect and hold the hackle and the pearl tinsel Make sure it's tied in. Nice and tight. Keep your thread tight. You can break this off. Come in. Choose a point of the scissors. Cut away your hackle or break it off. It's up to yourself. The front hackle is just a normal brown partridge. Length slightly longer than the, the body hackle. What I do here is just remove some of the fluff. Use to keep. I like to keep most of it on so I can use that as a 
handle to grip. Then we tie this in by the tip. So what I normally do is use my hackle pliers to basically get it right in there so I can catch it. Now you couple of turns down with the front of the hackle facing yourself. This is a good side. And then a couple of turns back up. Just basically locking that in. But you need to keep the thread tight. And what I'm going to do is bring out the tip and trim it away. Just take your time at this point. What I'm going to do is put a wee bit of wax on my thread. And then lay a base of thread with the wax on it. And the way back down towards the eye. Then simply just fold the hackle or fold the fibres back as you wind. And it's a very delicate hackle, so just be careful, it doesn't break. Now that's plenty. Cross your thread two or three turns down, fold it back. Two or three turns back up. Keep the thread tight, I can break this off. And there we are. Now as a palmer that is fine, perfect. That's the type of fly that you want. You just you can leave it at that. Or you can add jungle cock. Now that is an option, it's totally up to yourself how you do this, but it's if you've got it then use it. And I have what they call plenty of split jungle cock. There's a single eye that's got a split down the centre. And uh it's the best way to use them up out right there. And you can see it's it's got a knee, it's got a split. But what I've done here is I've just cut it further into the black area. And what I do then is just remove the fine fibres. And then tie it on. Just basically forcing or causing them to split even more or to separate. And you can see it gives you an eye. Now what I'm going to do here is put a bit of wax on my thread. I come in with a couple of tight turns. Just double check to see where they're sitting and if you're happy you can basically you can fold this back for a, basically never pull out see if I can break this off there we are. sometimes you can do that but don't pull it too hard because uh, so it could pull your thread turns off some break easy some don't like that one is perfect just broke nice and easy and there we are and that's just your pearly palmer. It's a great, it's a good pattern. Um, you see, you don't need the jungle coat, I mean, you can tie it without. It's up to yourself. Now here's much the same fly. It is the same fly, really, in a way. But the difference is, if you might, these materials have been dyed yellow. And it makes for a different fly in the look. And there's no jungle cock in that. Because that's a good fly as well. You don't need it. It's up to yourself. But in this lesson, it's a good way of showing you what you can do, uh, especially if, you're, if you've got it, and use up the split ones. So anyway, all you have to do now is a couple of coats of varnish, and your fly is finished. Just work your th all the way around. If you can rotate the, the device like this, you can apply the varnish quite easy. You see, once that's dry, another coat, and that's your fairly palmer. Mm -hmm.